Channel 4's dispatchers released a program to reveal shocking details over the Easter Sunday attacks in Sri Lanka, which it says alleges complicity by officials from the government. The program contained details related to the Easter Sunday attacks as well as the assassination of the editor of the Sunday Leader, the late Lasantha Vikramatunga. Claims made by Hansi Razad Maulana, who at one time was a spokesperson and finance secretary of present Sri Lankan State Minister Sivane Sathare Chandrakanthan and IP Nishantha de Silva, the former head of the Organised Crimes Investigation Unit at the CID, later who fled Sri Lanka, as well as an unnamed government official are included in the programme. Hansi Razad Maulana claims that he and Pillayan met the then Defence Secretary Gotabe Rajapaksa when asked to form a paramilitary death squad called the Tripoli Platoon. He stayed to Pillayan, you selected your best team and together work. The Tripoli Platoon working under track come out of Kotabaya. They selected people against the government and they are targeting and killing. We can meet Kotabaya in his room. He put a sandal paper in the front of him. He said, this balla, a singular balla means dog. This balla is always, always play with me. And he says, Rasanda should be killed. If you can, you can do immediately. Soon as possible. Former police inspector Nishantha Silva, also featured in the program, revealed details on the investigation surrounding the murder of Lasantha Vikramatunga that led him to the Tripoli platoon. Adivedi Lasantha Vikramatunga Mahatage Gataneta. Tripoli Kandame Samajik and Visin, Kanulabu Durakatana Pahak, Sah Onge Kriadame and Sambanda Bauta, Toruturu Matana or Nikaraganda Pulanguna. Ota be Raja Paksege, Ruju Addiction Actin or Tripoli Platuneka Sambanda, Mama Gota be Pasnakirimas and the Pradapashi Department to Kandeva. It was a mugging away Tamung Mava Milasanta Vikamatunga. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able they are very extreme. He said, you meet one person. So one prison guard walked a person. He was a dark person with beard. I say salamu, he says salam, salam. The Muslims are greeting, assalamu alaikum. He says, shiny mulevi. I never ever seen like these people. Because they are waiting for the death. They want to die like that. So they want to go to paradise. But in Pulian says, this good, we use them. They are not interested in anything in the world. But we can use them. Maulana said that on Pillayan's orders, he found them in a lawyer and money for bail. The January of the 2018, Pillayan told me, you organize a meeting between Surai Saleh and these people. Exact location name is Karadi Pool. After that, I give the information to that group to come to place. That's why I knew everything. I go to the, the place, big coconut farm. One horse is there. They come a white way. Six people get down from the vehicle. Shiny Mulevi came and shake the hand and hug me and say salam. After that, introducing his brother, Shahra. And he says he's our Amir. Amir means a Muslim called leader. So I introduced him Surai Saleh to them. The meeting gone a long time. The meeting finished and Surai Saleh told me, Raja Paksa need an unsafe situation in Sri Lanka. That's only the way to Kotabai become president. So this is the meeting between them, so the terrorist group and Suresh Saleh. Hansi Razad Maulana also detailed an incident on the day of the Easter Sunday attacks. Suresh Saleh called me actually. He just said, immediately you can go to the Dachamutra hotel. A person wait for you, come out, you take him into your vehicle immediately. Once you take, you take his phone. After that, ask him where he can go and drop him. This one, he can give introduction to me. But I told, sir, I was in particular. After Easter bomb happened, I realized the first is, who, who were the, the participate the meeting. First is a Shahra, suicide bomber and a leader. So I knew these people already. I met them. I'm scared. Then I talked to Pilar. Then I said, you shut up your mouth. You, you don't know anything. That's it. 
Another unnamed government official made a startling claim in the Channel 4 program. Channel 4 says the allegations in the program were put to Gothabe Rajapaksa and Pilean. They did not respond. Channel 4 also says that Suresh Saleh denies any connection with the Easter bombings. He says he was in Malaysia at the time he is alleged to have met the NTJ members and in India at the time of the attacks. He also says that he was not operative in the defence or security structure of Sri Lanka between January 2018 and the 2019 attacks.